Hi guys, I'm Akshay Anand. I'm here to share my experience about how I study uh, for the thing, for the same, and then to give you some tips about it. So when you are studying subjects like uh, physics and maths, it's uh, better to just uh, go through the theory once, have a basic understanding of uh, what the subject is, and then go and do a lot of questions. Since doing questions is uh, more important for the advanced, since uh, there are a lot of uh, tricky questions for the advanced which would uh, involve a lot of concepts which you may not know by just reading going through a theory so you would need to do a lot of questions in physics and maths to get that for subjects like chemistry it's uh, like uh, for example in organic chemistry it's better to just go through the theory a lot of times and just by heart it basically because it's uh, it's all, it's a lot of concepts that you have to learn and not much that you have to apply and like unless with, unlike physics and chemistry though it's different for uh, physical chemistry where you do have to do a lot of questions and then uh, coming to model exams, so Berlin does a lot of model exams. Once 12th is over, for like, uh, around one to two months before the actual JE main, uh, JE main and advanced, they do a lot of model exams with the repeaters patch. So these are actually really useful and uh, it's good to do a lot of these because they make the difficulty level pretty high and give a lot of really challenging questions. So you may not get any of this during the exam, but this gives you a good idea of how the exams are going to be for the JEMAIN and advanced and gives you a lot of new questions and new concepts that you may not have known already and for example like for us the many of the questions that they are given many of the model exams that they have given before uh, J advanced the top ranks were around 450 to 40 percentage so this actually made the J, actual J advanced seem a lot easier than the models that they had given so it's actually a good idea to go through all the model exams and previous year questions as well since those will also give you a good idea and so when you are actually studying for this make sure that uh, you have no distractions beside you since that would uh, detract you from studying and make sure that you can you can take around 10 20 minutes of breaks between studies where you can do anything you want but uh, during the actual study session make sure you don't have any distractions and make sure you also get enough sleep for at least six to seven hours uh, since getting sleepy during studies or during exams won't be good at all so make sure to get at least six to seven hours of sleep so that's all i had and all the best for your exams